taking her by the hand, he called, saying, Child, That's well, arise. With him. And, and also some women, said, Greetings, O favor, Near the one. cross of Jesus, his, his mother's mother, sister, Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. So we have some adventures ahead. Yes. We're in Israel. Cannot wait. We're going to talk about the women in Jesus' life. He believed in women. He did incredible works around and through women. Yes. And so we want to look at the lives of these women and the places, really, that a lot of these major events happen. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm in Capernaum right now, and I'm thinking about all of the work that Jesus did here. Specifically, as a woman, I'm thinking about all of the work he did in the lives of women. He had moved her from being broken to whole. He moved her from being rejected to chosen. She wasn't the same as she was before, and he does the same thing for us. She lived in his words. She trusted his words. She knew the love of God, and she trusted him. It shows the width and the gap, the latitude of who God cares about right. and what He wants to do. And I just feel like saying, oh, that's my God, because right. He cares about everyone across the board. The good news enters the world through the resurrected Christ and the message of a restored woman. To know that regardless of your past, your bondage, your baggage, your history, Jesus not only comes in and fixes it, makes you better, He calls you for something greater than you ever could have done on your own. Jesus could care less about our hierarchies and divisions and divides. He busts through all of them because what he cares about is the soul of a woman and the souls she is going to go and declare this good news to.